way back in 2007, June 2007. That was my state meet in my senior or my junior year of high school. It was the most bittersweet feeling ever. I remember being on the bus ride home and I had the silver medal in my hand and I was like, yo, I never thought I would leave the state championship meet with a medal, period let alone a silver medal, <laughs> like this is crazy. But on the other hand, I'll never forget that feeling that it just burned because that silver medal was two inches away from being a gold. Second place and being a runner up would end up following me throughout the majority of my track and field career after that. Without even realizing it, I had really just begun on a path of self discovery at the age of 21 before I even graduated from college. Um, I decided that if I was going to keep competing in track and field, I'd have to figure out whatever this second place issue was. Out here bright and early because why not? Seven o'clock, Friday morning, let's get it. So today's workout's pretty straightforward. I haven't been back on the track for more than like three weeks at this point anyway. Um, so I'm not really doing anything intense. This is kind of like an extension of my physical therapy that I'm doing in the office. Had a little bit of tendonitis in my Achilles, but that's not really doing too much. And yeah, so as I go through this workout, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna answer one of the questions that I got in a recent survey that I put out. And um, so I'm just gonna dedicate this video to that and also show you guys a little bit of a track. So what I'm doing is just walking on my toes, walking on my heels, enjoying this beautiful morning out here in Georgia. Honestly, as crazy as it sounds, um, I really feel like Michael Jordan in the Last Dance documentary, he talked about how he injured his foot. I think he broke his foot. And after all the rehab and the intensive work, the side that he broke was his weaker side, but by the time he came back, he feels like it was stronger than the other side. That's where I feel like I'm at right now. <laughs> the question that was submitted was, how do you maintain your confidence when you're going up against better competition? Rule number one, don't go into any competition thinking anybody is better than you. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll jump, let's get that out there. Yeah, sometimes you're gonna face strong competition, perhaps stronger, but stronger is relative. Um, but at no point in time, and I don't care what level you compete at, if you're a youth athlete, or you're a senior high school athlete, or you're in college or a pro, don't go into any competition thinking anybody's better, objectively better than you. I don't care what their marks were, if you're talking about track, I don't care if they're stronger, I don't care if they have more goals scored, don't do that. Because right before you even get to the playing field, you've already shot yourself in the foot and you've already lost, you know? Can't go into any competition thinking somebody's objectively better than you because you've already lost. At that point, you're just training to try to, to get second place at best. Nah. Sometimes people may be stronger, but in order to maintain your own confidence, when you go into a new competition environment, focus on yourself. Don't worry about thinking about whether someone's better than you or not. Like, it sounds very simple, I know, especially with track and field, because, I mean, the nature of this event, this sport is everything is so objective. You either run the fastest or you don't, or you either jump the furthest or you don't, right? But even then, those people you're considering better can have their own off days. You never know. But if you're focused on what someone else is doing and another person's attributes, you're sabotaging your own competition before it even starts. So don't go into any competition thinking anybody's better than you. When you get to competition day, everybody who's there has earned their right to be there. It's an equal playing field. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter if you're going to go into a world record holder or any, or the next scrub down the street. Do not go into any competition thinking anybody's better than you. When I first started competing for Nigeria, perfect example, my training partner had connected me with a fellow triple jumper who was competing for Nigeria. This fellow triple jumper, you guys might know of him. 
he was an Olympian already. He was, he's 10 years older than me. He jumped, at the time he had jumped a meter and a half, almost two meters further than my best jump ever coming out of college. I really had no right to go into that competition thinking that I was gonna be beating anybody or doing better than anybody, but I was I had the audacity to think that, right? And I go into any competition in the same mindset. I was crazy enough to think that who cares if I'm the new kid on the block? Who cares if I'm the rookie? I'm coming to this national championship and I'm gonna win it. Why? Because I'm in it, right? So fast forward, I get to the competition and lo and behold, um, the other triple jumper, God bless him, that's the homie Tosin, but even he'll tell you he had a bad meet that day. And me, like I said, I was just hungry. I was the new guy. So I just went out there and I did what I had been doing all year. And I said another, equaled another personal best. Given that Tosin scratched his first three jumps and was out of the competition, I won fair and square. Do what it takes to go into competition and see that you are the best person on the playing field. It doesn't matter what sport you play, um, competition is only gonna be one small component of your overall experience as an athlete. As a track athlete, for me, I'm gonna be training five to six days a week. Let's say it's the competition season. I'm gonna be training from Monday through Friday and I'm only gonna be competing one day on that week and that's gonna be Saturday or Sunday, right? The overwhelming majority of my time spent as a triple jumper is going to be in training versus competition. So if I wait until comp competition day to begin acting like I am the best person on the track at any given moment, then I am wasting whatever the math breaks down to 87, 90% of my experience and not making the most of it. And what I've really had to learn, especially since I was a high school athlete, is that, yeah, it's one thing to come out into the, the um, competition with confidence, but you build that competition confidence and training. You can't skip the step. How you train is how you compete. There's really no other way to go about it. And as I said, it doesn't really matter what sport you play. So try to bring that, no, no, don't even try. Just bring that 100% beast mode mentality to every practice session you have. And then at the very least, you're laying the groundwork for you to carry that same confidence into competition. Now, competition anxiety is a very real thing. Um, not gonna downplay that. But in order to start making headways against that problem, you have to start treating every day as like a mental training ground for when you step onto the track or when you step onto the pitch or to the football field or whatever. Workout's done. All right, well, that's it. That's it for the workout. Honestly, I think that's it for the video too. I think I've gotten everything out that I wanna say. So, as I said, as promised, for the dozen focus group, I appreciate your feedback. Please keep hitting me back. And if you're watching this outside of the dozen focus group and you just watch, you stumble across this video on YouTube, um, you, you're invited as well. Leave a comment, leave a question, something you want answered. What I usually do is I have a, a private um, email list of fellow athletes who are like-minded and we're all trying to lift each other up. So if you want to join that email list, I guess I, I'll leave a link in the description below. But if even if you don't and you have a question you want answered just about sport in general, or the Olympics, or really anything about my life and as I live it, that um, I'll share and well, within reason, of course. But yeah, so without making this outro go any longer than it should, Go ahead and like, subscribe, leave a comment if you have anything you want me to answer in the future. And I'll be back at you guys with the next video and the next questions that were submitted in the survey. Peace.